it's me, Ashley. Hey girl with her flowers. Flowers who are looking kind of crooked right now. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I took my hair out. I can never make up my mind on what I want to do to my hair. But anyway, hope everybody's having a great Monday. Hope you had a good long weekend and you're enjoying being back to work or school or whatever it is that you're doing with your time. Today, we're going to talk about love. Kind of. <laughs> We're really going to talk about don't settle. That's the topic for today. Do not settle. So if you're interested in hearing my opinion on not settling and whatever I have to say about it, then please stay tuned. All right, I'm back <laughs> for the 50th time. So I, I have recorded this video so many times, you guys, you have no idea. But anyway, before I get into the topic at hand, if anybody is a reader out there, I've read this book called A Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. It is such a good book. It's like 400 pages. It's a definitely, it's definitely a page turner. It's a really, really good suspenseful book. And if you like to read, I suggest that you go read it. If you don't want to invest in the book, I'm sure you can find it at your local library like I did. I take advantage of my library like you. You have no tomorrow because I love to read it's just how I keep my mind constantly flowing because if not you know they say idle hands are the devil's workshop and for me idle hands are the sleep man's workshop because I'll be out I'll sleep all day if somebody lets me but anyway so I'm coming to you guys talking about why you should not settle I was going to do a video on how I got pregnant with my son and it's much more interesting than it sounds but I think it's a little too personal and I'm not ready to go there yet so maybe on like my 100th YouTube video, I'll talk about it. But until then, we're going to talk about why you shouldn't settle. So a little bit of backstory. I've been single for quite a while now. And I've just recently started dating. I was dating this person for a couple months. And I decided to just cut it off. And not like abruptly. It was something that had been going on in my mind for a little while. Um, but I was able to step away from the situation and I decided to talk about this because I realized it's something that I've gained with age. I have been in relationships for as long as I remember. I've had a girlfriend or boyfriend all the time for like the past 16 years since I was like 13. I've always been connected to someone and it hasn't been until I've gotten older, um, that I realized that it's okay to be alone and it's okay to not settle. I feel like in the beginning, you kind of know if you're if the person that you're with is going to be the person that you're with forever. And I don't mean the beginning, that part where everything is perfect, those first couple months where it's just nothing but love and adoration. I mean as you start to grow and learn more about that person. I feel like early on, we can kind of tell the kind of person that we're with and if it's going to work out or not. And in that point, I feel like you should know that it's okay to walk away. And even if you've you know, if anything, you've gained a friend, and if not, you've learned a lesson, and that is that this is not the type of person that you want to be with. So this has been something that has become more easy for me to do because before, I would just stick around. My last relationship was a horrible relationship, and in the beginning, I knew that it wasn't going to work out, but because I didn't want to be alone, I stayed, and because I didn't want to you know, start over again, I just thought, well, you know, I'm already in this situation, I'll just stick it out. I don't want to start over. But there's nothing wrong with starting over. And, and ultimately, you're not starting over because you're just continuing on. You're just adding a different person into your path when that time comes. But in the meantime, don't settle to be with someone who's not the person that you're meant to be. And I believe that there truly is someone out there for everyone. I know that the person that I'm meant to be with is out there. And the people that I've been dating or that I've dated, they just aren't that person. And that's okay. It's, not, it's nothing wrong with spending a few months with someone to realize that it didn't work out. It's better than it being 10 years down the road and you're married and you got kids and you're all settled down and then you look at that person while they're sleeping next to you and you want to strangle them and then you realize, you know, this, is, this isn't this is going to work out. And those 10 years of your life you can't get back, you can recover from a few months. It's much harder to recover from a decade. So don't settle. And I don't mean, and I don't just mean that in relationships, I mean that in everything. Strive for the absolute best. Continue to, don't let anyone limit you. Don't be limited in love. Don't be limited in, limited in life, whether it comes to work, 
If you want to have 50 kids, have 50 kids. If you want to be married and live in the Bahamas, get married and live in the Bahamas, Bahamas. Do whatever it is you want to do. Do not be limited. Do not settle for anything. Always know that you deserve the best. And I remember I just posted something like that or reposted like something like that on my Facebook that it's okay to constantly tell yourself that I deserve the best. And it's important to do that because when you say it out of your own mouth, it makes it easier for your brain to believe it. And I talked about that in a previous video, which was positive affirmations. Sometimes you have to say things out loud over and over and over and over and over. And, over and it actually causes your brain to start to believe those things. So when you know, I deserve the absolute best, then you will ultimately have the absolute best because you know that you deserve that and you won't settle for anything less than that. So don't. Do not settle. If you find yourself in a situation, whether it be with work, whether it be with someone that you are in a relationship with, whether it be a friendship or a family member, and you're not getting the absolute best from that situation, then it's okay to walk away because you deserve the best. And once that's in your head and once you believe that, then nobody can stop you. You're unstoppable because you already know. Ain't nothing nobody else can say that's going to hold you back from getting to where you want to be or where you deserve to be because you know you deserve better. So in saying for the hundredth time, don't settle. Do not stick around with someone or something or some job or some home or some anything when you know you deserve better than that. Because what you're doing when you stick around in a situation that you deserve better than or that you know that you're worth more than, you're you're lowering your own value. You're, you're lowering your self-value because eventually you start to believe that that's what you deserve. In my last relationship, I knew that I deserved better, but after being with that person for the amount of years I was with them, I was just like, well, at this point, this must be what I deserve because I'm sticking around, but not realizing that I'm the one holding myself back from greater. No one can hold you back from greater but yourself. Not your circumstances, not anything. You hold you back. No one else can. So do not settle. And that's pretty much all I had to say about that. I keep looking at my hand because I wipe my candle off. And I don't know you know, if you guys ever like lit a candle and then the glass on the outside gets kind of like burnt from the flame. And I wiped it off with my thumb. So I have this like black stuff for my thumb. And yeah, and that's why I kept looking at it. But, you know, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to talk about today. And I have been working so hard like crazy on everything in my life. And I'm just going to take this time to say that I'm so proud of me. I cannot believe it. And for one of the first times since my surgery, I literally could look at myself and see the difference. I took the time to scroll back on some of my old videos earlier today. And I was like, wow, I can definitely see the difference. So I'm going to post... Um, in my next video, I'll talk more about my weight loss. I'll try to get on a scale. I really, really avoid it. I really don't like to do it. But I'll talk about the scale and I'll talk about a little bit of what's been going on with my body post-op from the surgery because I'm not fully recovered to me. And I'll get into that a little bit. But, um... Ashton's probably not going to let me continue to record this video because I recorded it not during nap time. And he only, he limits my away time to like 10 minutes. And we're getting real close to 10 minutes. So I'm going to have to go ahead and end this video. But like I said, read the book, um, a, a Woman in the Window. Yeah. Don't settle. And you deserve everything great in this world. And don't let nobody tell you otherwise. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time.